Hi, my name is Maria Beasley. I am from Watertown High School, and I'm only 16. So, me being only 16, I haven't really learned much about life. Haven't experienced a lot of things. Like, when I was prepping to write this, I was in a complete panic because I didn't know what I was going to write about who I was going to involve in it, what stories I was going to tell, who I was going to explain anything to about. Because I have nothing. I'm sheltered and protected and I'm not, I haven't experienced a lot. So I panicked. I told my mom, I'm just, I'm just going to tell my, my FBLA leader that I can't do it. I'll pay him the registration fee back because he paid for me. And I'll just, I'll not do it. I just, I'd, I'd rather my, I'd rather not, right? And then I texted him and I asked him, I was like, what's the registration fee supposed to be? What's the amount I'm going to pay back? And he was like, it's free for you. You're going to do it. And I was like, I can't. I'm terrified. I, I have nothing to give I don't know what to talk about but then he told me you're overthinking it you have so much confidence and you're such a great communicator you can do this so I took about seven deep breaths because I thought I was about to I thought I was hyperventilating <laughs> and I started to believe I wrote a whole paper and half trying to figure out I was like I can do this I'm gonna write about life experiences cause my coach believes in me and I can do this my mom believes in me I can do this so I wrote about my experience before this <laughs> and it was scary I'm still scared <laughs> But he reminded me that no matter how long you study and you prep and you practice, it all means nothing without confidence. Him believing in me gave me the confidence to believe in myself. He allowed me, he reminded me that public speaking is nothing without confidence. That being a leader, one who is respected and admired and has the power to inspire can do nothing without confidence in themselves because no one else has confidence in you if you don't have confidence in you. And my FBLA team... My FBLA leader has reminded me of that because of his confidence in me to be able to do this. Make this video and send it in for this competition. I don't know how to explain it, I guess, which is probably not a good thing for a... Um, public speaking group but with as much studying and prepping and practicing as I did I thought nothing could beat me I could do this I would win first place that's all I wanted but then five minutes before it I panicked I can't do this obviously I've already been over that but when one person has confidence in you, it allows you to gain confidence in yourself. My FBLA team reminded me of that. So thank you.